this is the new generator for the card motor. It has two plates, 12 magnets, two rotors opposing each other. It's a dual axial generator. There's no iron in between the two spinning plates that have magnets that are attracted to each other. So basically the flux is like knife blades across from one plate to the other. These are 100 wraps each and an inch thick and that'll give me three phases which is basically just like a, a, a home built wind generator because there's no iron in the middle between the magnets to add drag but as the coils are energized the load will create a drag the the drag is reduced considerably with this design and I kind of redesigned this thing to work for the cart motor a lot of these you see they're, they're 14 inches and in this case what I did is I used saw blades it's 9 by 12, 9 coils by 12 N52, 144 pound pull magnets. There'll be two plates opposing each other, give me the magnetic field I want. They'll be super glued and this will be cast with a ring around it. So this will all be in resin. And the magnetic alignment guide, which most of you have already downloaded, there's two sheets in there. One's 12, which is to line the magnets and the other would be nine so you could use those to lay this out simply you have to get your radius and basically yeah, I can show you here I'm going to remove these off of here to give you a look so what I did is I plotted this out you can see the shadow of where the coil is and where it'll be you can see the magnets will fit in the middle of this with a magnet on each side so the, the flux field is just like blades of magnetic flux that pass through this coil. And when the magnet's in the center here, it's also in the center here and here. Which means these three are tied together. They're wired just like in series. That gives me one phase. And there's nine of them, so you have three phases wired up this way. So with 12 magnets, as they pass, they line up. To the zero point which is what this is called where the ma magnets in the center that's the crossover point you've got three sine waves and as they pass the zero point because they're going from one field to the other this will all get cast in resin now i could do it without casting it in resin because i have no intention of running this on a pole outside in the weather but the resin is going to add some stability to it and I'll probably use some wood pieces around it to add some filler so that gives me some anchor points and I, I don't need to fill the whole thing with you know sixty dollars worth of resin all I need to do is cast this and have enough room to, for the resin to set this up and I'll use uh, about a 40 percent baby powder mixed with the resin that gives it makes it a little more viscous and it makes it easier to manage and it also cuts down the cost for casting this assembly this will be the new generator for the cart motor I just wanted you guys to see where we're going here I've still got to put two more coils on it and that that's a test rig basically an induction generator that I'm running some tests on I have a test rig for that and I have another test rig for the induction I, I believe there's a lot more to induction power generation than uh, to light a light bulb with the nice thing about aluminum, there are no magnets, but what you're doing is you're creating eddy currents that create a vortex that uh, makes power. And if you've noticed the big three horsepower motor, that was making an incredible amount of power. It would jump instantly to 120 volts. Uh, there are no spinning magnets. The eddy currents being created by the aluminum in the AC induction motor, there's a lot more there than meets the eye. This is a small rig I've set up. This has got a 3000 RPM DC, came out of a cutter, 18 volt cutter. And I, what I have here is a, a small AC induction motor where I'm changing the windings to figure out the best way to configure something this small to run on that 18 volt uh, wheel and experiment with different ca capacitance to come up with a combination that works. So that's just a little test rig I've, I've got going. So so there's a lot more experiments with the AC induction, but for now we're going to set this known type of generator that should make enough power to drive the wheel. 
there's a lot of experiments left to do but I wanted to give you guys a look at where we're at I made a coil winding video when I wound these coils uh, with the new coil winder so you look for that this is showing you a new coil winder that releases the coil without a problem so this is Technomancer for zero point fuel signing out